Welcome back to Facet Net. As you can see, I created in the past I created a couple of videos to show how to create a GoFish campaign. The last video I had how to set up email template and then I didn't release a video then how to start the campaign. There were a couple of comments this how to create the campaign. So today what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to create the campaign using GoFish. So as as I said in my previous emails, I have got uh, the GoFish installed on my computer here and I got a sending profile using my Outlook account. I got my email template. It's just an email that I copied from a LinkedIn job notice. So this is all about jobs. So you can import from your standard emails and if you wish you can go back and watch some watch the video that i released how to create an email template and then i got a user groups it's about who is going to receive your campaign so that, that user group is already created the one that i have to create here is the landing page so what these are the sending profile here is about the authentication to send the email to someone's mailbox then email template is what they see when you start a campaign it goes to their email box and they can see this as an email so the email will have a lot of hyperlinks where they can click in so when they click in the hyperlink it will take you to another new page that new page is what called the landing page so you must have a sending profile you must have an email template and keep in mind the email templates should be an attractive email template so that people may think that oh yeah it's coming from a real sender and there are information so I just wanted to go and click to see more information so you can the easiest way is to go to your Gmail or your mailbox and view the original email so you can click view original email and then it will show you the whole uh, HTML codings you just need to copy and paste it here right so that way you can create the email template so that's that's the simplest stuff so you go here and you can import email all you have to do is copy the original content here right so you can do a email template easily then the important part is the landing page this is the page where redirected and then they will enter username and password you're going to grab that one so it's like a credential harvesting. So you're going to capture the submitted data. So this page has options. So we can go and create new landing page and you have to provide a name and you need to provide the coding. So when they click in, it has to create a page, right? In that page, they're going to enter username and password. So there should be a login username field and a password field. When they enter username and password, click login. That has to send the details back to you. So what I have done is I have created a template and saved it here. So if I go click edit page, you can see login to apply. So I just give it a name here. And if you look at it here, I got a command, um, the HTML coding, a lengthy codings here. You can go and import from any website. So for example, you can say LinkedIn, www.linkedin.com.com or you can provide. I tried with the couple of standard uh, famous websites they didn't work because they have got javascript so that's sometimes stop the uh, uh, the username and password forwarding back to you so what i have done is i have copied a command or copied um, a, a page which is designed and saved it in my um, blog site i got a blog site and i saved this information in my blog site so if you go to a URL I will post the URL here so I'll show you what I have done if you go to my blocker page all right here we go in my blog site face it net I copied today I copied a coding so you can see there's a coding copied here all you have to do is just copy this code right and uh, paste it in your sending profile so if I see that if you come here sorry landing profile or landing page so I just copied that information here what this page looks like what does this page looks like it is copied i copied this from w3 schools so this is the w3 school the coding so if you look at it this is a simple coding uh, from w3 skills you can see on the top url and 
it's if you run this one you will see it's a model login form click login it will pop up a screen where you have to enter username and password and click login right so all i have done is i've used this one to fake the people as a job uh, application website so i've copied that here the command and also the important part is you need to click capture submitted data and capture password so if you tick these two options that's mean when they click the email uh, when they click the url it will come back with the screen they will enter username password that username password will be captured right so as you can see it's all done and once it's done it will redirect to google website so save the campaign campaign is saved now sorry landing page is saved I'm going to go to campaign and I'm going to create my new campaign. Click in here. So you can say here job add. Um, it's just a name. So email template is LinkedIn. So they're going to receive an email. And in that email, it's all about LinkedIn, right? So when they click the LinkedIn URLs within that email, it will redirect to my landing page. So when they enter the landing page information, where does the information should go back to? So where is your phishing email server? Mine is running on my virtual machine and I got an IP address here, 192.168.200.132. And then my sending profiles, which is my email uh, authentication, and then who's going to receive the emails. It's like, I just wanted to receive it to my personal emails. And then I click campaign start the campaign click launch okay so now you can see the email the system is trying to send the email how do we know click here and if you look at this one this is on the back end of your campaign you can see it says the email sent to my one of the email address right so let's go back here and if you click here again you just refresh it you will see email sent one email sent how do you know that email has gone there so i'm going to log into one of the virtual machine that i have here this is one of the windows 10 virtual machine running on the same network i'm going to log in here and i'm going to go to my email so this is the outlook gmail outlook email that i have got here i'm going to refresh it so as you can see, I've done some testing and 1148 just before I received an email. So let's click in here. And of course, you can see it's just blocked some pictures. And you can see this is all about jobs picks you. So when I click this one, it should redirect to my login page. Let's click here. It says login here to apply, right? Because I just changed the name of the page. So login here to apply and I click login. And I'm going to enter the name say, and the password, say, C A S S W O R T, exclamation, whatever. All right, let's type in again, C A S S W O R T, exclamation, and click login. Done. Now you can see the page has been redirected to Google. Right, let's see what happens here. I'll come back here just for a moment to see what happened it got some more information here you can see right so it has gone to and we see some more information here let's just go back and refresh my campaign and i can see email is being open and i have clicked that email links but i don't see any submitted data let me refresh it and now i see there is a submitted data how do you see what data has been submitted? So scroll down here, click that small arrow. And if you go down here, it says it's clicked in on an operating system, Chrome using, and here view details, and that tells you the username and password. So that's mean I am now successfully captured the username and password of another user. Keep in mind, this is running, this is all running on a local area network. My network, this, my VMware is set up on a NAT, right? If you could check the configuration, this is running on a NAT. And my other Windows 10 machine is also in NAT, right? This is also configured in NAT mode. So that's mean it's all internal. That's what I'm using 192.168.200.132. If you really want to do this as a public one 
then you should have a public IP address, right? So you should run your GoFish using a public IP address, or you can run it on an internal network, but you should do a port forwarding. So you have to find your public IP address and do a port forwarding so that you can send it to a public, right, external network. Anywhere in the internet, they can click in and you will collect the details. So that's how we create a campaign. Just to let you know again, so you must have a sending profile, you must have an email template, and then you should have a landing page and user groups. So the important one which grabs the username and password is the landing page. It's quite difficult for you to just um, import or clone the page. Uh, it's not something like a social engineering toolkit, right? Uh, Carl Linux has got a built-in toolkit that you can use it. Uh, this doesn't really work that way. So if you really want to tweet people, you have to design a similar page so that people will see, yeah, this is a LinkedIn page and this is a job application page. So mine is a very simple page that I'm using here for examples here, but in real world, you have to develop it, right? For some reason, I don't know why I can't use LinkedIn uh, login page, but I'll do some more research and I'll come up with some minds of whether we can use some famous public pages to uh, grab the username and password, but I'm sure that it's quite tough. All right, so that's it from me today. Hope you guys would enjoy this and do some more testing, and I will see you on another new video in my next one. So please do subscribe to Faceitnet if you wish like to see more new videos. Thanks.